I honestly thought I was going to get scammed, to be honest, because their website just was all wrong. Morning! Happy Monday! I don't know why I woke up in this mood because it's like really early and my eyes are stinging but I'm trying to stay positive because I need to get up earlier. It's 7.49. I'm going to be late so I don't even know why I'm vlogging right now. I'm going to the gym. My session's at 8.15. I should make it. Um, yeah, I made Hayley make like earlier gym appointments because lately we've been doing it at like 9 30 10 and i won't wake up until like just before that you know um so i was like no let's do early so i'm forced to wake up okay anyways gtg gotta go i have a facial at erin aesthetics they've got like new facials that they've just um introduced why isn't it going back oh <laughs> that's probably why um yeah so i'm gonna get a facial this afternoon super excited for that and yeah i've just got a lot to do today we'll talk to you guys later okay i'm back home by the way i wore shorts to the gym with my oversized tee can't say i can remember the last time i did that but anyways wear the shorts because it actually looks cute with this outfit i'll show you actually side note i always get distracted can't you see my legs? Cute. Um, this tea is old from Lana Jane, sorry. But um, I just made matcha again. I've put in my organic almond milk this time just to double check that I don't like it when it's cold. How good does that look? I've got my toast. And then my every bite. I also just got a cotton on order, which I'm excited about. I'm obsessed with their basics. I've literally just been bloody on TikTok buying unnecessary shit. That's what I've been doing the last week. Um, okay, then I've got my eggs. I always get asked how I get them so um, yellow. These are the eggs that I use. I feel like it's just organic eggs that make it look like this. Um, this matcha looks really light. Okay, it's clumpy again. I couldn't find my um, electric frother. I swear I had like four of them from the keto days and I can't even find one. I'm gonna have to go hunting again. Mmm, that's better with the sweetener. I put two small teaspoons of stevia. Mmm, that's a better color for me. I don't like it too. That's nice with the milk. I don't mind it. Mmm, that's good. I really like that. I only, I actually weighed out. Because it says two teaspoons is four grams. And I was like, surely like a teaspoon isn't two grams. It's not. It's like literally half a teaspoon. So I put in exactly two grams and that's why it's so light. But I don't mind it being this um, weak. Mm, that's really nice with the sweetener. I never like answering unknown calls. I'm not answering it. They can leave a message if it's important. I always think that like, if they really need me, they will leave me a voice message. If it's a scam or like a telemarketer, they won't. Oh, okay. Okay, another package from Freddy. Oh, these ones I love. Oh, I actually like these ones. Oh, these are cool. 
They kind of remind me of like a pair of leggings that I have in like a gray mall. I actually really like those. Medium. Yeah. They're quite cool. I might try them on later actually and let you know what they look like. But thanks guys. I'm a big fan of their jeans. I'm not usually like a um, skinny jeans person, but if I had to wear skinny jeans or if I did, I would wear that brand. Honestly, makes your butt look amazing. Okay. Here's my cotton on order. I'm not going to lie. This probably took about almost two weeks, a week and a half. Um, but because they're like trending right now on TikTok, their orders must be like through the roof. So I just got a bunch of like cotton basics. They've got this um, organic cotton line, um, which I did grab a few tops or tanks over the weekend, which I'll show you guys. Just got a couple of crops. I feel like these would look perfect with jeans and like one of those throw tops that I always wear, like those like long sleeve linen shirts. I just literally, I have everything possible in my wardrobe, but a simple cotton basic like this. So I got it in white. I also got these in a size small. And then I got a gray mile version. They feel like a really nice material. I've got this in a, like a cami sort of um, singlet as well, like a long singlet. And then I also got it in black because like I said, I don't have any plain ones like this that are like comfy that I can wear without a bra. Love that. And then, wait, is this my? I'm confused because I feel like I bought a top as well, but maybe it was out of stock. So they refunded me because I, what's this? Um, I ordered a gray mall, like not, it's not a baby tee. Like it's like a longer sort of tee. Um, and they were out of stock, like after I placed the order. So they had to refund me, but I'm pretty sure I ordered like a, um, dress but they didn't put it in my order. I'm gonna have to chase that up. But I bought another pair of these like white linen pants. I feel like this just goes with everything and they're just such a staple to have um, in spring and summer. I feel like wearing long linen pants. They're not like completely linen. They were quite cheap actually. They were 50 bucks. Um, yeah, I don't think it's like completely linen, but like obviously it's a blend of something. I also got this, but I wanted to wear it as a top. It's actually, yeah, it's a skirt. So it's like a, okay. So it's like a knitted sort of fabric skirt, but I thought wearing it as a boob tube tucked into some denim with like a blazer or anything over the top would look really cute. So yeah, I literally just bought this to wear as a top, not a skirt. So we'll see how I can style that. But yeah, it's like really stretchy sort of fabric. I actually got the um, inspo off Zara. I was like shopping on Zara and I couldn't find the top that they had. Um, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to try and look for a skirt. And I just found it on Cotton On. So I got that. Okay, this is from Fudge. I actually can't remember last time I used a purple shampoo, which is probably really bad. But um, I just got a bunch of their products. Shampoo, conditioner. I used to use this religiously. Some cookies. I'm sure Peter would love them. And yeah, just some, oh, and a massive, oh, daily journal. That's kind of cool. Thanks so much, Fudge. What am I doing today? What's on my to-do list? Let's have a look. My to-do list. Consists of I'm getting a hydrofacial. I've done my PT. Hair is at 10.30 on Wednesday. I'm also getting a car service that day. We're actually staying at Crown this weekend, which I'm so excited for a little staycay. We were gonna do it last weekend, but the weather is so much hotter this weekend. It's literally 30 degrees on Friday. So we're staying Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Little three night stay. Um, I need to call mom at one to discuss some things with the apartment and the warehouse. 
Um, what else? I may be shooting something on Thursday with a brand here in Perth, but I'm not sure if that's going ahead anymore. Thought I'd show you the pants and the tops on. Yeah, perfect size. I'm really glad I got a small. I was going to get a medium, but I think I prefer it a little bit more firm around the boobs because I probably wouldn't wear a bra with it. I probably could have gone a 12 in this, not going to lie. I just really prefer when I'm wearing like comfy pants like this to be on the looser side. So I did end up getting a 14 in this. I feel like if you did want a bit of a firmer fit, but you still wanted them like loose, I could have gone down a size, but you know me, I don't like anything tight on my body. Like this is literally like just sitting on my body so well. Um, obviously there's a drawstring, so if I did want them tighter, I can. But yeah, they're actually really nice. Like I really, really like them. I do have a pair that I wear all the time from Princess Polly, but obviously those are a little bit more expensive. Um, but I feel like these are longer. Um, and my Princess Polly ones are like a... They're a little bit longer than a 7.8, but yeah, this is like really, really nice. Really, really love these. Whoa, who am I? I actually semi did my hair. Can't believe how long it's getting. I look so weird when I do my hair properly because um, I'm just so used to it being slicked back. I'm about to jump on a little meeting with mum just because we've got to discuss like absolutely everything in the next hour or so because I need to leave and oh my god it's like is it Haley? surely not so yeah we're gonna lock in a few things and yeah I will keep you guys updated on the renos I'll get mum to take videos like before and after videos so don't worry you guys will be seeing the whole process it sucks that I'm just like not there to vlog it but um yeah I'll make sure that she gets some footage so I can put it in my vlogs and on my Instagram and stuff like that so yeah that is exciting okay i'm gonna call her now so i will speak to you guys later so i found uh one uh let's have a look the other one is a series six did you send it to me no i didn't i'll send it to you uh the other one is a foot top which is an inverter one see it on the camera okay just finished the hydrafacial my face feels amazing i went under a um was it a blue led light for like 20 minutes i haven't even looked at my skin oh my god it looks so glowy she did some extractions as well oh my god my face looks like <laughs> reflective I'm, we're just trying to treat like this it's like scarring a bit and like pimples underneath the skin, like a bit of texture. So hopefully doing a couple of them will help. But oh my God, look at my skin. It looks so glowy. Um, I, Peter wants me to go to the shops to get something. So I'm just gonna go home, make something to eat and then pack some orders and some like admin type work. Just replied to some emails and stuff. But um, yeah. That is the plans for the rest of the afternoon. Good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. Oh, 
my bag's on. I can't be bothered taking it off. Um, I'm just about to go and meet a friend, actually. Um, it's actually Peter's friend's girlfriend. I um, haven't caught up with her in ages. She just had a baby, but she's baby free today. So we've got a chance to catch up. We're going to get our toes done and then go for lunch. We're not sure where we're going to go for lunch though, but um, yeah, I'm sure we'll find a place while we're getting our toes done. So that's the plan today. Um, I've got to go drop off my parcels to the post office. I need to go pick up a parcel actually. Okay, I've got the slip. Obviously, as you saw, I've got so much to do. Lots of decisions still need to be made. I need to go to, I think I'm gonna do that next week actually, go to JB Hi-Fi and get the drone, etc., And just get all like the little bits and pieces for Xmouth because that is fast approaching. Like we're literally leaving in like two weeks. So we've got to get organized for that. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna to go to the gym tonight. But that's basically the plans for today. Home now for my little lunch date with my friend. We went to Breakwater um, in Hillary's and it was really nice. So yeah, I had lunch. I came home to a few parcels. So I'm gonna open them up. I'm excited about this one because I'm pretty sure it's Genora's newest skincare product. Let's unbox it together. Oh my God, how cute is this little PR package? We've got their new brightening booster. I also did get a package from this really random sock brand that reached out to me and I was like, why not? You can't have enough socks. This is the brand. Is it called High? No, it's not called High. It's called Get Pear. Get Perry? No, it's definitely Get Pear, surely. Um, me thinking that's the brand high, that's not the brand. Um, these socks feel amazing. They're a cool, 89% cool blend um, organic cotton. Like they feel really nice. I feel like the branding's very like luxe. Um, but yeah, they feel really good. These are like their mid-length ones. And then these other couple I think are um, ankle socks, but they feel really nice. So thank you so much. Okay, my U Foods order just arrived just as I was about to go. Um, so they have, I don't know if this is new, but um, they're fueled meals. This isn't sponsored by the way, but this was gifted, um, are a bit bigger. Like portion wise, Peter personally likes that. And I got a bunch to try. I've got some from last time. So I really like the chicken Kiev ones. This I'm really excited to try. Karaji chicken bowl. I got butter chicken. I pretty much got two of everything. So Peter can try as well. Um, yeah. Love that for us for the next couple days. I didn't make this one very nice, guys. I think it's because I hadn't washed my normal cup and it's like not blended with enough like water. That or I put too much kale in it and it gets all like bitty. Ugh. So I also got one of these. I need to go to the post office now. Collect my parcel. Not sure what it is actually. I'm trying to think if I ordered something that requires a signature, but I can't. I can't think of what it could be. Hmm. Anyways, that's what I'm doing. And then I'm going to go get ready for the gym. And I think I'm going to start packing for this weekend actually. I've got a shoot. Oh, have I told you guys? I've got a shoot on Thursday. I'm getting my hair done tomorrow at Boho Blonde. Yeah, I've got a shoot on Thursday um, for Venom. If you don't know what Venom is, it's M Davies brand. Um, she's just launching like a couple new dresses for spring and asked me to model and I was like, um, okay, but I'm not a model. <laughs> but she was like, no, nope, that's fine. So I'm just rolling with it. So I'm gonna be a model for the day. Mm-mm. It's not right. There's gonna have to be a 
nose hold one, I think. Oh. Okay, shit, my battery's running out. I'll chat to you guys later. Okay, I'm really confused as to what this is because usually when I get stuff sent to my house, it's stuff that I've ordered and then random stuff that I don't know that I'm getting, it, it just gets sent to my PO box. So it has to be something that I ordered, right? Unless there's a few brands that um, send to my house, but only like a selected few and I know that they're coming. Okay. Oh my God, I ordered these ages. I literally ordered these at the beginning of our quarantine. Four weeks, five weeks ago. And then I found out through, I think Riley did like a Princess Polly haul or something. And I saw that she got, I think she got the similar color or blue. Or am I thinking of someone else on Princess Polly? So like I could have literally just, ooh, they smell rank. They're from Yes Style, and I honestly thought I was gonna get scammed to be honest because their website just was all wrong. Um, okay, they're cute. I thought they were gonna be white though, but they're cr they're cute. They're cream. I might show you guys because I got a fresh um petty. Yeah. Someone just walked past me. Yeah, they're cute. I wouldn't say they're the comfiest shoes. Like, they feel like I'm walking on bricks, but... I mean, for a pick... But yeah, like I said, you can get this exact style on Princess Polly, and it probably won't take five weeks to arrive. And they probably won't smell... Oh, they smell! They smell like... Plastic. Anyways... That's what I got just then. I honestly don't know if I can finish this so strong. Yeah, I don't know about it. I'm eating my juice. That's not a good sign. Also, side note, I literally got one of my charms, put it on an eight mil sleep up, or you could use a huggy and put it on my necklace. That's a bit cute. Little idea for you if you've got um, a pearl necklace, a huggy and a charm. Chuck it on for something different. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking because so many people have given me weird looks. I'm literally parked right outside the post office door. So you can imagine the people staring at me right now, but um, yeah. Morning. We are off to take the car. Oh, I've got my rings in here. Um, for a service this morning. Oh shit. And then I'm going to um Boho Blonde to get my hair done. And then that's it. We're getting a higher car, obviously, or like a loan car while um this car's having it service so i'm really curious like as to what car they're going to give us so that's exciting so we might just go like zip around um well peter will while i get my head on um but yeah that's the plan for today but our loan car what is it it's just like a little it's so small it's like a little speedy thing <laughs> okay we're gonna go have some breakfast there's my car that little sporty car. It's got a little spoiler for the day. Cute. Sable. We're at Yellow. I am back from the hairdresser. This is my hair. I just love this kind of color now. It's so much better to maintain. Killed it. I love it, I'm so oily. Um, I also just went and picked up a bunch of parcels. Well, actually, I can only show you one right now, but I'm sure you'll see the other one soon. I think I know what this is. They actually reached out to me quite a few weeks ago, but they mustn't have had them in until recently. So, 
I'm actually really excited for this because I've never owned one. That's if it's what I think it is, to be honest. It's a juicer. I love cold pressed juices. And I've actually always wanted to buy one of these. So I'm really excited to have one. Thanks so much, Nutribullet. Hey guys, happy Thursday. I'm in a bit of a rush this morning. I mean, what's new? I woke up with two like massive blind pimples on my face. Like just, it just has to happen the day of the shoot. It has to. I mean, why is my door open? So yeah, love that for me. Um, yeah, so I thought I would get a workout in before all that madness. I'm just gonna go train with Haley. And then I've got to come home. Well, I've got to go drop off my stuff at the P.O. box first. Come home. Have a shower. Literally do my hair and makeup basically straight away. And be on the way to the shoot location. We're also staying at Crown tonight. So I need to make sure I'm all packed. Because we're just going to go straight from the shoot to Crown. So it's going to be a busy day today. So bear with me if I don't vlog as much. But yeah. Okay, I'm back home now. About to do my makeup. I don't need to leave for another like three hours, but I just don't like to rush my makeup, especially if it's for a shoot. Um, I don't know why I picked this after the shower. Anyways, I'm gonna do my makeup and then I'll show you guys the final result. And I'm gonna do my hair as well. And then I can relax. <laughs> okay, she's ready. I've never been so stressed in putting eyelashes on in my life because I've had them obviously lifted or the lash Botox. They're really curly. So like it's literally nearly impossible to put fake lashes on when your lashes are curled. So I was like, oh, let me try putting them on underneath my lash line. Holy shit. That's the first time I've ever done it successfully. And this eye... Thank God I did my eyes first because my makeup would have been ruined. It just kept watering and watering and I could just feel it. Like just on this eye, on the end, I could just feel the lash poking me in the eye and I'm like, what am I going to do? I need to like put some sort of lash on. Um, and yeah, I was like, okay, I'm just going to leave it. Let the lash dry. Because you know when like your lash gets all wet and it's just, it's all over basically. I was like, fuck, I'm going to have to like redo my whole face. Anyways, that was a bit dramatic. Um, I let it be for a bit, did the rest of my makeup, and then I was like, okay, this is gonna have to be a one hit wonder. Did it, and I couldn't feel it, and I was like, oh my god, okay. And I was like here drying it, like for like five minutes, just to make sure that it's like in place, and it worked. So like, I literally put the lashes underneath my lash line. Oh, I've never been so stressed. I was like, I'm not gonna be able to go. My lashes isn't cooperating. But yeah, that was just me being really dramatic. Okay, I've got my lip gloss here, which I'll put on at the end because I, yeah, it'll get everywhere if I've put it on now. And then I'm gonna make a smoothie. I didn't end up making one yesterday. I know I said I was gonna make one every day, but I think I'm gonna make a cold pressed juice for the road. So I've got a couple of ingredients. I need to pack my makeup. I might even just take this with me to touch up just in case using my little Sephora thing. Um, what else? I've got like my nipple covers if I need it, undies. I think that's pretty much all that I need. I'm wearing this, um, this top Peter actually gave me like two summers ago. It's from Arj. So I just decided to wear it with my little linen outfit, just something comfy. Um, but yeah, that's the look. I might actually, I might put 
put on some pressed powder. Otherwise, I'll get really oily. Especially on my blemishes. It probably took like over an hour to do. Um, like this, yeah, this takes time. When it looks like this, it just looks so like clean and polished. Um, yeah, this is just like my shoot. Well, this was on the brief anyway. It's just like minimal eyeshadow, winged liner, nude lip, flawless face, glowy. All right. I'm just waiting for Peter to get home. Now, I need to pack my charger. I need to pack another battery. I've got so much to do still. Okay, I'll maybe vlog when I get there. Not sure if we're gonna be busy or not cause um, I'm only gonna be there for two hours. So yeah, I'll try and get some footage. Okay, we are on the way to the studio. I actually prefer to do my makeup first and then like get ready and do my hair just because like it can look like really drying especially with all the powders but because i've got really oily skin it kind of like gets a bit dewy so i don't i don't need to get fuel because i got no shoes on last video i think there's enough fuel okay Mate, bye. okay i'm here and this is the first dress can't really see just checked in uh, i don't know no it might be the other one Try it. Oh, yeah, I got like no BTS on my camera from the shoot, but um, I got heaps of footage on my phone, so I'll put that in for you guys to see. But yeah, just checking in now. I've got a dinner reservation tonight. All right, it is 12:25. Hi. Here we go. Where's my? <laughs> the music. Oh shit. I'm struggling here. <laughs> here. Oh, we've never been on this side before. We're always on that side, like in those towers. Cause like the pool's always like on the right of us. That's where we'll be literally all of tomorrow because it's what? 30 degrees. Oh my god, I'm so excited. This is our room. Nice. And then the bathroom. Cute. Amazing. Okay, we're off to dinner. I thought I'd show you guys my outfit. So this top is from Princess Polly. I got it ages ago. These are my Zara jeans. I've got my belly chain here, which will be available soon. This is my um, Zara purchase. And then shoes are those new ones that I got. <laughs> They're actually not too bad. I thought they'd be way more uncomfy, but yeah, that's the vibe. Love it. Hopefully I don't get cold because I'm not going to bring a jumper. <laughs> we just ordered a couple of drinks for us and then this comes out. The gorgeous girls at work here said she recognised me when I walked in and she's just made us two, what are they? French martinis. Yeah. Cute. Cheers. It's yum. That is really nice. Morning, we're going for brekkie. A little outfit, because we're gonna go to the gym after. This is just an Eamon tank, and then these are actually like my Freddy leggings, and I decided to bring them. And I'm just gonna wear them to the gym. You can't really see them, because it's not a full length. They're really comfy. They're not really like a um, legging material. Like they're more like, like I mean gym tights. Like they're more like a, I don't know, going out type of pant. But I mean, they snatch you all in the right places. So I'm loving that. Right, say sisters. For a quick little brunch. How good is this? It's like one of my favorite cafes. So good. Okay, we're at the pool now. We've hired a little, um, like day bed, I guess, for the day. Pool looks inviting. 
Should we try and get like, I guess we could just like chill there if you want some sun, like on the floor. Cool. Oh yeah, or go in the pool. This is us. We just had um, breakfast at Say Sisters, which is like one of my favorite cafes, like I said, in Perth. It's just really simple, but it's like really cute. It's in Leaderville, so it wasn't too far from where we're staying. But yeah, this is just gonna be us for the day. Oh my God, I forgot to almost show you my cute outfit. This is tonight's dinner fit. This blazer is from literally three years ago from Bardo. Bustier is from Glassons and then these are my Zara jeans. You guys know the new bag. Ooh, I've got low battery on this um, camera. I might just leave it here, but yeah, we're going to dinner. We're going to try Nobu, even though we don't have a booking. I know. <laughs> So I don't know what we're going to do if we can't get in there, to be uh, honest. The other restaurant. Yeah. Hopefully we can get into Nobu. Good morning, everyone. So you won't believe it, but we ended up getting a late Nobu booking last night. What time was it? Like 9.30 or 9.45? Yeah, so we got there at like 8 and we're like, long shot. But do you have any bookings? We're happy to wait. And they put us on like the waiting list and we just had a wine nearby and then they text us maybe like 40 minutes later and we got in and it was amazing. That's like the latest we've ever eaten dinner, but it was worth it. We're going to go to Epicurean for breakfast this morning and then go to the gym. And then we're basically just going to do the same thing we did yesterday and spend our day down there. Hopefully the clouds go away and the sun comes out but I'm excited this is our brekkie did you get a bunch of random stuff I, I just don't get how people can just have like a full-on butter chicken meal with naan bread just finished breakfast so full now we're gonna go to the gym I'll show you guys it's actually goals so cool how funny is this mirror <laughs> It makes you look so wide. <laughs> look at your arm going to it. Yeah. No, I'm Yeah. Lol, someone literally walked into the lift. That's why I cut off. This is the gym. Oh, it's busy. God, it's huge, like massive. <laughs> We're just doing cardio today. Nice. Got like weird machines. I tried that last time. Do you want to just do treadmill or something else? Thought I'd show you guys my outfit for the pool. I didn't bring my little thingy my bob that I can rest it on. Oh, second place. Did I bring it? No, I didn't. Okay, let's try and do it from here. Oh, that's not working. Okay. This dress is from Bamba Swim. I was going to include it in my video that I was going to do with like all of my lockdown, not lockdown, quarantine purchases, but I don't think I'm going to end up filming it. So yeah, this is from Bamba Swim. Cotton on. I got these a couple days ago. I was like randomly in there getting some more tanks and I saw this bikini and I was obsessed. Um, the bottoms are also really flattering as well. Um, not gonna lie, I thought that this, like the material of this, because this was like quite expensive, thought it was gonna be more flowy, but it's quite stiff. If you get what I mean. But it's still cute. Crocs. And then jewelry, you guys know. These just went on the website as well. These hoops that I always wear. And then glasses. I was gonna wear my Vela ones. And that's me. Hey guys, so we just checked out of um, The Crown after three nights and now we have made the trek to Fremantle cause Oatberry just opened and I am such a fan of Oatberry. I miss it so much, so I'm so excited. We're just parking now. So yeah, that's the plans for today and then we're probably gonna head home soon after because I've got to pack some orders and obviously edit this vlog, so. Yeah, I am one excited gal. Okay, just got home. My battery freaking died, literally as I was getting the SI. So love that for me. 
I got home to a couple of packages, so I'm gonna unbox them. I did order this myself from Club Art London. I was on the hunt for some like really cool cargo pants and these are literally perfect because I wanted something quite lightweight that I can wear throughout like spring and summer um, to wear with like some cute little tops. So I bought three colors because I just loved the style of them. I'll show you the style. So they're like, I've got quite similar ones. They've got like little pockets on the side. They've got drawstrings at the bottom. They're really cool to wear like a bit more lower waisted with like a top or any sort of crop, like a corset top or something. Um, but yeah, really cool. I saw someone tag this brand on Instagram and I'd never heard of this brand before. It's in the UK and it came so fast. Like I only ordered it like at the beginning of the week and they used DHL. So I got like a khaki sort of color. And then oh, this one's really similar to the khaki. I only just tried the black on, so hopefully these fit. Oh my God, this is so similar in color. It's like the same sort of tone, but this is like a beige, beige kind of color. So yeah, I got them. Did I need three? Probably not, but like when I see a style of anything that I like, um, I just buy all the colors, to be honest, that's just me. So I got that, skin strategy over skin type. Oh my God, I've never heard of this brand before. Holy frog. So random. I got some serums and a gel wash. So thank you so much. This is a bit cool. Probably shouldn't be putting this upside down, should I? It's really heavy. Okay, it says my name on it. It's a bit cute. Love that. It smells really good. It smells really good. Oh my God. Hope this parcel finds you well. I'm a small business called Low Coco. I hope I'm saying that right. Collective based in Melbourne. Oh, cute. It's like lots of like, oh my God, these cookies. Look at these cookies. <gasps> There's so many cookies. And I literally said, as soon as I'm home, I'm not eating crap. <laughs> and then, oh, I'm gonna have to eat these. Some bath salts, oh my God. It smells so good. I've been into baths lately. Rose geranium bath soak. That would look so cute in the bath. A little soap. Japanese honeysuckle. That is nice. Thank you so much for this generous gift. Some more dry shampoo. New scalp refresh range designed to protect scalp and hair health. Never heard of this brand before. Can never have enough um, shampoos, actually. Thanks so much. So yeah, that's everything that I got. I think I'm gonna end this vlog here because like I said, I still need to edit it to have it up tomorrow. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye.